There are some common problems when using Moodle that can generally be eliminated if you take a little time to be sure your internet browser is properly set up. Firefox is the free web browser from Mozilla. Here you can see it and the web address to get to it. It's the most trouble-free browser to use. When you go to the website you can download the browser and install it on either a Mac or a Windows machine. Internet Explorer does work with Moodle but you are likely to encounter problems when using it like not being able to open a link, view a video, or post a message. And you won't know that Explorer is the problem which can be quite frustrating. If you are using Explorer and something goes wrong try a different browser as the first attempt to solve it. Both Apple Safari and Google Chrome do work better than Explorer, but Firefox is still the most trouble-free browser to use. The university also has a website that explains the technical requirements for your computer's operating system in order to use Moodle with a minimum of problems. Again, you can see the recommended browser is Firefox. The most important thing is to make sure your pop-ups are not blocked when using Moodle. Pop-ups need to be unblocked for Moodle to work in any browser. Here in Firefox, to make sure that your pop-ups are not blocked, you go to the Firefox uh, word in the menu, click on Preferences, and then you see that in this case pop-up windows is blocked. You can either click the checkbox to uncheck it or you can leave it checked and click on exceptions. If you add the URL umn.edu like you see here that will allow block up or allow pop-ups to occur when you're on any University of Minnesota website. This prevents uh, your pop-up blocker from not working and allowing pop-ups with any website that you visit. When you're done with that you can just close it. Some of the content you may view in Moodle requires that you have a plugin installed. If you are trying to open something like a video file and you get a message saying you need to install a plugin or update Flash or Java, you should do it. You won't be able to view the content if you don't have the required plugin installed. On this Firefox help page, there's some good information about managing the Flash plugin and other plugins as well. And so this could be a resource for you if you are having any difficult with installing or problems using a plugin in your Firefox or uh, other web browser. This semester some of you will have your course website using Moodle 2.0, a new upgrade of Moodle that the university is using. During fall semester all Moodle courses were using Moodle 1.9 and some continue to use this version during spring semester. You can log into your Moodle site in two different ways. First you can go to myu.umn.edu and log in like I'll do here. And then click on uh, my courses tab. When I do that all the courses that I am registered in show up. And you can see here that some of the courses say 1.9 server and others say 2.0 server. This means that the course, if it was created using Moodle 1.9, is on the 1.9 server and those created using Moodle 2.0 are on the 2.0 server. This won't make much difference to you if you are logging into your Moodle site from the MyU portal. However, if you happen to log in 
by going to the Moodle server itself, then moodle.umn.edu is the 1.9 server. And here, if you log in, you will see only courses that are those in 1.9. And you can see those here. If your course happens to be created in Moodle 2.0, then you must go to the Moodle 2 server and again log in. And then only the courses that you have in Moodle 2.0 will be visible and able to be logged in from this point. Finally, you can contact the helpline and do that with the helpline phone number and talk to someone in person. Or you can do it by going to this page. And at this uh, page, you can view tutorials about using Moodle. You can chat online, live, with someone about a problem you are having. Or you can call the helpline and talk to someone on your phone. So this gives you some ideas about ways that you can find out more about both your browser, about Moodle, and ways that you can get support.